Christmas, my friends. Thank you for joining me in drawing the snowman swinging on a string of lights. Do you just love Christmas lights? I love driving around and watching uh, blinking lights at nighttime. Um, grab your paper, grab a pencil. I did use a blending stomp. Um, on this one, but you don't really need it. So uh, grab your pencil and let's get started. We're going to have some fun with some holiday drawing time together. How's that? So here, look, my, my, I'm lifting it up and he's swinging. He's just swinging, having a great time, enjoying life, right? So this one I have on my paper. Um, notice it's really long and slender so you decide how you want to put it on your paper but make sure you have room at the bottom for nothing to be there all right so I really put my finger right in the middle of my paper that way I would know I have enough space um, to draw my snowman and then have some space at the top uh, my students asked what is the snowman looking at so I drew a big bright star in the sky so you decide what you want your snowman to be looking at and let's get started yes so right in the middle of the page right smack dab in the middle of the page let me get all my eraser marks off here right in the middle of the page we are going to put a very light sketch of a circle go ahead do a circle making sure it's real light not too big you don't want to take up all the space um, just for the head gotcha so right here we're going to start on one side we're going to curve up follow that circle and come back down we're not going to do the bottom part okay we're going to put a scarf on the snowman okay look at the snowman i've drawn before you can try this one on youtube Look at that one. That one has a nice scarf on his around his neck because he's cold. You think a snowman's cold? Ah, I don't think a snowman's cold. Uh, this one has lights wrapped all around him. So there's some different options for uh, you to be drawing this holiday season. Oh my goodness, we drew those in my live virtual classes. So if you're ever interested in doing those, you can go to my website. Um, you can see that on the screen. Um, um, and enroll in a class. So what we're doing is we're doing the head. We're going to just do the smile and the nose, and then we're going to put a scarf around his neck. You with me? So the very top, the very middle of the head, let's put a nice triangle. How long do you want your carrot? How long do you want your carrot? I don't know. I just want a little bit. So I'm going to put a nice triangle, but when I go and darken that, I'm going to curve the top. Carrots aren't really sharp and pointy, are they? They are rounded, they're soft. My guinea pig sure loves um, carrots. Do you know anybody loves carrots? I'm addicted to carrot juice. Oh, that stuff is good. So now I'm just gonna pull some contour lines in on the nose to give it that, you know, that raw look of a carrot. Then I'm gonna drop down, give a nice big smile Okay, we don't see the eyes because the eyes are on the on the other side of the head because he's looking up. What is he looking at? What do you have your uh, snowman looking at? So now that we know where we're going to put this head, let's grab our eraser and take off that end of that circle. Okay, get rid of that. So now we can touch one side, do a contour line and touch the other side. Did you see how quickly that happened? Just curve just a little bit. Don't go straight across. And then on one side, you're gonna curve in and watch this. I'm gonna make another curve. That gives the illusion it's just a little bit wrinkled at the end. Got that? You don't have to add that extra special part, but I want you to learn about it, okay? Do you wanna see my special little guest? Look at this. <gasps> I got this at a craft show yesterday. I'm so excited. Look at this scarf. Look at the wrinkle in it. There you go. Did you see that? That is so cool. We just drew the wrinkle 
in my little pencil topper. That is so cool. So now we're going to take and we're going to draw a contour line, touching both of these, connect it with a contour line. And notice I, I was not very straight. I didn't go straight. I dropped it down, giving the illusion this is a round object right a round object now both of the uh, ends of this scarf are going to be coming off this direction so i'm going to just draw a nice long uh, strap up here okay and then i'm going to tuck the other one behind it and going off the other direction they don't have to be the same length um i tried to make mine pretty close right uh, if you have drawn with me the Yeti, look at the Yeti. That's on my YouTube channel. We did that in a live class. Um, we did the plaid pattern. You see the plaid pattern? Um, in the other snowman we did, we just did one little stripe. And notice we used the contour line to create that one. Well, this one, let's just, let's see here. I know a student did stars but i'm going to just use two lines on this one and when i get to the middle notice i'm going to change direction because it's changing direction um, from the center okay when you go out from the center you're going to change the direction of your curve does that make sense you're like what are you talking about well it helps the eye understand uh, that it's a rounded object so go ahead and curve those uh, think about your placement for your lines. Uh, think about your pattern if you're using stars or you're using circles. Uh, you can put pom-poms on the end of your scarf. Whatever it is, this is your drawing. Let's just draw the basic parts together, okay? You ready? Now for the bottom of the, of the snowman. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the edge of the scarf here around the neck and we're going to just droop this line down curve make a big drop and then curve back up okay our snowman isn't three lumps of snow uh, this one's just going to be one head and one long body got that now let's go ahead and put the swing on okay let's put the string of lights for the snowman Olaf is here he's saying what's up what's up and you know what? I think I already drew Olaf on the YouTube channel. So go check that out. I don't know where he is right now. He's running all over my my desk. So I don't I don't have an Olaf to show you. So let's see here. We're going to start at the bottom of the snowman. And we're going to draw a line real light up, 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 all the way to the top of the page. So if you have a long way to go, whoa, I almost have a really long way to go. <laughs> Keep, make sure that you have somewhere that that line's going. Then let's go on the other side. Just draw real light. That way we know if we want to keep that line or not. Okay, I think I love mine. I'm going to leave it. Now we have to draw the placement of his arms. Okay, let's draw the placement. Let's decide how he's gonna hold on. Look, look, Olaf's holding on like this. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Olaf could totally use a swing of lights, do you think? I think he would love that. So this, this side over here, the left side, we're going to pull out a little bit of a shoulder and bring that arm down. See how I did that? Right underneath that scarf, curve it out and down. Touch your line, and once you do that, put a nice oval right here that's going to be the placement for the hand go ahead and erase everything inside that oval because he is holding on to it so if i'm holding on to this pencil or this eraser you don't see most of it right so he is holding on to his cool string of light so you're not going to see his the all those lights okay Okay, does that make sense? You're gonna, you're gonna only choose to show your audience what they have to see. So let's do that on the opposite side. Pull down that shoulder, bring that line to uh, his swing, and then again, we're going to do a, an oval, thinking about your, your size and your placement. 
This one I'm going to have his hand a little flatter because he's the way he's gripping it. Then erase everything inside of there. Cool. This is this is fun. I love drawing with you. Thank you for drawing with me. Uh, one of my students came up to me during class one day and gave me this. I love it when I get. Uh, I love art pictures and pictures from my students that talk about um, some of the things they're learning in my class. That is so much. Oh, that's so cool. I just love it. I just love it. So thank you for my notes and my art and the pictures that you've drawn with me on YouTube. You guys are such encouragement to me. Uh, I hope I'm encouraging you and encouraging you to build your confidence as an artist and you keep drawing let me know in the comments below what you want to draw and we will draw that together so let's work on this hand over here now the thumb is going to be at the top so we're gonna start at the let's start at the bottom of this hand watch what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go up 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 and then I'm gonna drop back down okay and then curve and then go back up did you see how I did that? I go up, put that thumb in there, curve, and then just go around like he's wearing mittens. Okay, we're not going to just put all the fingers on because he is kind of a snowman, you know. I don't know that snowmen have fingers. They have mittens on, right? So take your time with that hand. Make sure you're getting that right. You can pause me here if you need, uh, but take your time. Now let's pull up another line for that arm making it all the way to the body and then curving down. See how we did that? I'm going to go ahead and darken this line for his arm all the way down. Go ahead and erase this area where the armpit and the shoulder are. Yes, you love it. Thumbs up to you. Give me a thumbs up. Like my, like my video so we can be drawing more together. Yes. Now let's go to the other side. Let's draw the thumb. Okay, let's start at the furthest right side. We're going to go up, 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 curving in that thumb. Go back out, touch your oval, and wrap it back around. You see how quickly that was? How easy that was? Making sure that thumb is on the top. Okay, you don't, you don't want it to look really goofy. Look like we don't know what we're doing. We know what we're doing, right? Now let's add the arm thickness. Go up and touch the body, curving that down just like that. You see how we did that? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So far, so good? Yes. Okay, so let's go down here. We're going to add the feet. So I'm going to put um, an, a, a bigger oval than the hands, right? Because your feet are bigger than your, than your hands. So I'm going to put two of them right in the middle, down at the bottom, overlapping his his uh, hips and overlapping the, the string of lights and I'm going to erase the inside of there go ahead and clean that out clean up clean up clean up good 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 thank you and then let's go back up and let's just draw that body shape bring it down if you like your oval shape go ahead if you want to straighten it out a little, I'm going to curve mine just a little more than what I had originally drawn. There we go. Then connect the in between the feet right there. Good. Now you can trace around your ovals, giving a shape of the foot. Darken in that shape. Good, good, good. Now we have a snowman. Look at that. Yes. That is so cool. Let's add lumps of coal. I do coal just because that's what I think snowmen have, you know, in all the songs. I do have students that put buttons. Uh, you can do buttons. You can do, um, oh goodness, Olaf over here. He's got coal. Yeah, you can do coal. Uh, you can do buttons. So one student, very, very advanced, did jingle bells. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I love that. So I'm just doing circles and, and darkening it in for my lumps of coal. You got that part? Now this is the part that takes the longest. So you can, um, 
speed it up. My daughter will speed it up on the video. Uh, you can pause me, um, take your time doing this part. I am just thickening up my string of lights. So I'm going around the snowman where the string of lights is and I'm just, just coloring in um, the thickness of this string. Okay, so now that we have it all shaded in, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in so we can see how to do this. Just pick any spot you want. I'm going to pick right above the hand. I'm going to put a nice little block or a cube right there. Color that in and then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one curve out and then curve back around. Do you see how I did that? And then add a little reflective line to it. And then I'm going to go above that. Go opposite side. I'm going to shade in my little block. Arch up and then up and around. That one's a little different, right? That's okay. Let's do another block. Let's curve and curve connecting them. Beautiful. So really you're going to take your time and do a really good job on this. I think I always want to color these, but by the time I've drawn all these, I'm like, you know what? I think it looks really good the way it is. So I'm not going to mess with it. That one got really big. That's okay. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell rock. Okay, you can keep drawing. Um, your lights. I'm going to go ahead and shade a little. How am I going to shade? I'm going to shade opposite my light source. I'm going to say my my moon, um, since he's you know swinging at night and his lights are all on, I'm going to say my moon is over here on the right side. So I'm going to shade with the edge of my pencil um, anything opposite the light source, which would be the left side of his body. Um, his little head's casting a really good shadow on his shoulder. So let's do that right there. And then down the left arm, bottom of his left arm, down the, the side of his body. Good. Now, if you don't have a blending stick, a stomp, you can use your finger on this one, okay? Don't, go, don't panic and, and quit on me. Don't do that. You stick with me. And you can use your pinky... I have students use Q-tips. I mean, come on, that's the coolest idea ever. So take your blending um, item, whatever it is, but stomp. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just add some shaded uh, graphite to my scarf just to give a little contrast. Do you see that? Just a little bit of a contrast. And I'm gonna load up my stomp by blending in my charcoal makes it look a little smoother and then we go down the side with the shading pulling the shading toward the light source okay goes darkest to lightest toward the light source well thank you for drawing with me i'd love to see your art you can find me on facebook at art with albright and you can post your art i'd love to see it i'd love to see um, anything that you're drawing with me on YouTube, um, artists always sign their names. So here we go. Let's put our name down there. Oops, I just tore the paper in my pencil. And thank you for drawing with me. Have a very blessed and Merry Christmas. And I'll draw with you again soon. Bye, guys.